Hello from Metal Mailers and Masters, I'm here from Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to dye my hair and I'm going to take you along for the ride while I do it. So I am using today Lunatide's Blood Moon, although I actually have a tub of some old stuff first that I'm going to use. I'm just going to do Blood Moon today, a lot of the time I do like a mixture of a few different colours. But I wanted to see what just Blood Moon looks like on my hair because I don't think I've ever actually done just Blood Moon. So, this is the beautiful box that they sent me. They sent this a while ago, I'm still burning my way through it. So, look, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. We've got my 15% off code, which is Heavy Metal Mama 15. You use that for 15% off at Lunar Tides. We've got a gorgeous sticker. I love the sticker. We've got another sticker. Love the sticker. We've got look all the different colours. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They've got some beautiful colours in there. If I was, you know, not a complete creature of habit, I would definitely like to try like some of their teal ones, like juniper, cerulean blue. Their purple ones as well. But I am such a total creature of habit. I just want to do my hair the shade that I always do it. So I'm doing Blood Moon today. So we've got a bottle there if we run out and we've got a tub. So I have my trusty little brushes, I have my jug, I have many, many pairs of gloves. Um, I've got lots and lots of clips so we can section up the hair. So join me for a little get ready with me, well not get ready with me, a little chatty. I'm going to dye my hair and tell you about my life. <laughs> so, <laughs> remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz as well peeps. So let's get on with this. Oh, I've sectioned up my hair because yeah, I have to keep sticking it in my mouth so I can't talk to you guys when I'm doing that. We're going to dye it. We've got some gloves. Luna Tides did send me some gorgeous black gloves but I've got all of these blue gloves that have been hanging around for a while and they need using up because uh, we don't waste stuff. So yes, right, I have my trusty little brush. And I've got, this is a tub of the old, I think it's just the old tubs. I think they still sell them, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure, but this is an older one. It needs using up. So we're gonna do just that. So what have I been up to recently? Uh, I've been working a lot. Uh, I worked nights at Christmas, so that kind of sucked. I finished 7 a.m. on Christmas morning. So at least I got Christmas day, got to hang out with everybody, but um, it's kind of killed me. I think I've been fighting a bunch of things off. I had this terrible chest infection over Christmas that just, it's, I'm still coughing stuff up from it now, so that's great. It's, uh, and um, my son now has strep A, which I, to be honest, just thought he was allergic to his pajamas. So, <laughs> kind of ignored the rash for a bit, just kept giving him Pyroton. Um, yeah, turns out it's strep A. So, um, yeah, bad mummy. Um, but hey, you know, bless him, he's fine with it. He's just had to get some antibiotics, but that means he's not at school today because they're not allowed to be in school until 24 hours after the antibiotics kick in. Uh, and uh, yeah, we only got them yesterday afternoon. So um, yeah, I'm a terrible mother and I suck, but um, I just didn't put two and two together. So uh, yeah, never mind, eh? Never mind, but yeah, so he is not in the slightest bit poorly, and so uh, I made him do some schoolwork this morning, and now he's um, playing Hollow Knight, bless him. So he's obsessed with that game, obsessed. He's really good at it though, like, frighteningly good at it, you know, from somebody who sucks at computer games. He's, um, yeah, he does get frustrated, bless him, sometimes, and then has a little cry, but um, yeah, we've been explaining to him that having a cry is definitely the best way to get your frustration out. I don't want some teenager that will throw things at the telly. So uh, yeah, he's um, such a little sweetie. Bless him. Bless him. So I haven't been making many outfit videos recently, mainly because, um, well, because I'm not happy with my weight at the moment and a lot of the things that I have that I need to make videos on they don't really fit very well at the moment so you know I certainly don't want to make an outfit video on it when I feel like crap wearing it and it looks awful so um, I will get there I'm getting there it's um, it's as usual with the way 
it's um, easy putting it on and difficult to get it off, but I'm getting there slowly. But um, yeah, I fell off the wagon a bit yesterday, day before, and ate a lot of chocolate. So, um, but onwards and upwards, back on that wagon. And it's harder since I've hit 40 as well. It's, um, it really, you know, when I was in my 20s, I could, you know, just, oh, it was so easy. I mean, it, it didn't help that, you know, i just smoke if, uh, if I was hungry, whereas obviously, you know, I don't smoke anymore. And, um, yeah, it's much more difficult to um, curb the hunger because you just go, oh, I'll just have a smoke. That'll, that'll ease that urge. But, um, Never mind, hey, but we are healthier because we do not smoke anymore, so, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and we don't stink because, oh, I hated how bad I smelled when we smoked, but, yeah. It is frustrating that it keeps you thin, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but there you go. But, um, no, I have, oh, I've got, like, a Mary Wyatt video to make. I've got a Kill Star video to make. I bought a dress doesn't really fit at the moment and um, the Mary White video is a good, really good video as well but yep can't fit into half of the items like some of them fit but not all of them and it's really frustrating because I planned to make that video in like November and it just didn't happen and yeah I really wish I'd just got off my ass and made it but yeah I've got a makeup video to make which I was like oh it's okay you don't fit the clothes, you can make these these makeup videos because I've got some bunch of different Jolie Beauty products to make videos on and I got some Radioactive Unicorn lipsticks that I wanted to make a video on as well but um, I um, I decided over Christmas that you know I'm 40 something I need to start using better skincare products so I was like right I'm gonna get myself some some posh stuff well not really posh but yeah and um i've been using some face theory stuff that my sister gave me and so i was like right but i kind of you know ran out and couldn't be bothered to get any more and wasn't getting on very well with the moisturizer it would bring me up every so often so i was like i just won't buy that moisturizer i'll buy something else um and i bought um a face cleanser which i'd been using before and seemed to be fine with um, a moisturiser and some retinol because I was like, I'm getting older, we need to use some retinol, you know. They all say retinol for, for older skin. And uh, there, that was a mistake because um, I didn't read the instructions properly. So, yeah, it's more for me. Um, and I put it on every day for four days straight when it said that you're only supposed to put it on once a week for the first couple of weeks and then twice a week and then step it up from there. And um, I gave myself a horrific reaction. My eyes swelled up. It took like two weeks for the reaction to go down on my eyelids and stuff. Um, and so then I was like, okay, okay, we'll just ease back in. We'll just start using the face cleanser because you've used that before. You know you're all right with that. No, nope, it keeps bringing me up. So I'm not sure whether it's just that my skin is mega sensitive at the moment and I need to just leave it the hell alone for like a good month and then try and use it again or if I am now allergic to the cleanser because I wasn't allergic to it before so it's the same stuff so it's really frustrating so uh, yeah I, j I just wanted to use a moisturizer and stuff that was actually gonna help and I really liked their products before I did find the it's called Amel C whip moisturizer with SPF it seemed to bring me up but I because I had one that didn't have SPF and that one didn't bring me up so I just assumed I was allergic to their SPF but I'm so I'm wondering whether just using this retinol my skin has just gone ah stay away from me we don't like it go away um, but it makes my eyes swell up my eyelids swell up and I get these like weird dry patches under my eyes and on my eyelids even if I don't put the cleanser anywhere near my eyes so it's clearly an actual systemic Anaphylaxis, well I mean not, not like a, oh I need, you know, an EpiPen or whatever, but it's enough that it's making my skin extremely angry and um, I'm gutted. I just want to be able to look after my skin properly and at not cost an arm and a leg. That's why I liked the face series stuff because it's all quite reasonably priced. Like the moisturiser is like 12 quid and, you know, the cleanser was about £8, £9 I think, you know, whereas... 
like the Lush moisturiser that I was using, which does, definitely doesn't bring me up, but it's like £17 or something, you know, for half the volume as well. And, um, and it, it, I mean, yes, okay, it keeps my skin moisturised. It's got no anti agingness in it at all. And I've hit that age where I think I need that. So, incredibly frustrated at the moment about it all, but I think I've just got to leave my skin at the hell alone for quite some time. Let it chill. It's just bloody annoying. So, yeah. But there you are. There you are. And um, thank God I only bought a tiny little trial size thing of the retinol stuff because you could buy like a full size thing, but that was like 25 quid. Or I could buy this little like 5 mil bowl um, and that was like seven pounds or something. So I bought the 5 mil bowl. Thank God I bought the 5 mil bowl. But um, yeah, so just a tad frustrated. I wanted to try and, you know, start looking after my skin because I've definitely noticed in the last six months. I'm, I'm, f I'm starting to feel my skin looks older and I don't like it, I don't like it, I miss lovely skin and I know it's part of ageing and you know, that, you know they, they mean a life well lived and blah 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 but I, it makes putting makeup on so much harder, it means that make, you know, you've got to be so much, it takes so much longer to put the makeup on because you've got to blend everything in that much more, you've got to be really careful about not putting too much makeup on you've got to buy more expensive foundation and that kind of thing and it's just it's a ball ache and I don't want to have to do it so yeah I would want to thought at least if I can look after my skin and have good skin then it makes putting the makeup on that much easier so incredibly frustrated about that at the moment but what can you do so London Edge is obviously no more sadly but there is a bigger fashion like thing it does mainstream fashion as well i can't remember what it's called but it's a um uh olympia i think yeah i'm pretty sure it's olympia uh in february so heavy metal hubby and i have decided because they have they have like an edge section there i think it's going to be much smaller i i suspect it's not going to have any of the soul of london edge at all it's more just going to be you know, stalls with buyers, but me and Heaven Metal Hubby thought we're going to pop up, we're going to just spend the day in London and go and see it because it's a, you know, we were invited to join, so we thought, why not? We'll see what it's like. We'll let you guys know. Obviously, I'll try and film stuff. I'm, it looks very corporate. It doesn't look like it's going to have the soul of London Edge. I don't think there's a fashion show or anything like that going on from the looks of the itinerary I think it's much more just you know like a buyers meet up I doubt there's any after party or anything like that like London Edge itself had but we thought we'd go we'll see what it's like make an informed decision from there um, you know if there are any brands there have a chat with them you know see what they think might as well can't hurt can it but um, you know and it'll be a fun day and if it sucks then we'll just move on go and um, hang out in Camden or something for a bit but um, you yeah, know we're not getting a hotel normally for London Edge we would have got a hotel I would have had that hotel booked for flipping months you know we'd have made you know a full two day thing of it but I, I can't justify the cost of a hotel room when it's probably going to be pretty meh but I thought we can at least try it out see what it's like report back you never know it might surprise us but I'm I think go in with low expectations and you might be pleasantly surprised and at least then I'm not going to be upset if it turns out that you know it's a bit meh and rubbish you know Olympia I don't think is going to have the same soul as business design center just because it's so big, you know, I think it's going to be very corporate -y. But hey, you know, we'll have a laugh, me and him. It's always nice to just go somewhere and hang out without the kids, get to dress up a bit. I mean, obviously, it's stuff like, for London Edge, I would go mega out there with the with the outfits and that kind of thing, which I, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I look, you know, I stand out, but I think it needs to be a little more... Um, demure and polished goth rather than you know 
crazy ass madness that you tend to do for previous London edges. But I think, you know, it'll be fun. I, I don't know whether there's going to be anyone we know there, you know. But hey, child free day. Can't complain. <laughs> you know. So, uh, yeah, we love having a child free day. So, this is coming together quite quickly, actually. I'm quite pleased. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick this on it. There we go. Wait a couple of hours and then rinse it all off, and uh, we'll see what Blood Moon looks like on its own. I've used one bottle and a tiny bit out of the top of this bottle not much at all so yeah not bad at all not bad at all next time I do it I'm going to do the full bleach and everything but I just haven't got the energy for it at the moment and it's January I don't care <laughs> but yeah I will uh, see you soon when I come to wash it out well that's it washed out I'm going to put some uh, some Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Protector Oil on and then I'm going to blow dry it and then I'll see you back here to show you how pretty it looks. And here we are, this is the finished colour. I really like it, I've, I don't think I've ever used just the Blood Moon, I've always mixed it with something else. So. I'm, I'm really impressed. I really like it. It's a beautiful colour. I would be, um, it's going to be quite interesting to see how it fades down um, because that is the one thing is that I, it, I don't like it when they fade down to orange so it'll be quite interesting to see what colour it fades down to but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I really like it. I'm very pleased. It's, you know, it's the usual. It's gone on very well. It didn't need a lot of TLC or anything like that. It has covered the grey. How long that will last is probably not very long because it's grey, which is why I've got to do the bleaching in the future. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it because I do not have the energy for that right now. But yes, I, uh, I, I really like it. I really like it. So that is my hair dye video, my little chat along with me. Let me know if you have any hints or tips for me about the skincare, about, you know, weight loss journeys, etc, etc, about how to treat a child with strep A. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been lovely to speak to you. Uh, let me know if you've got any videos that you would like me to make. I love getting suggestions from you guys. They're really, really helpful. I'm just really struggling at the moment with like try on outfit videos because I'm not feeling my body at the moment and that is that's fine it's it's post christmas i'm you know i wasn't expecting to be like yay i love myself but yeah so let me know down in the comments below remember to like this video comment down below to discuss any things that come up in the video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever i upload and remember people stay heavy